high school in Burbank right now and we're doing a 48 hour film project. You do everything from writing, filming, editing, um, all within 48 hours. So that's what we're doing this weekend and it will be lots of fun hopefully. I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this video because there was a lot to do in 48 hours and documenting it any other way was going to be really difficult. Jody, a dear friend of ours, and the person who got us involved is checking us in here. We were so, so excited, and of course, these were among our last moments free of urgency. Here is our producer and director walking up to choose our genre out of a literal hat. You heard that right, a hat. We picked animal film and western. We chucked out the idea of an animal film right away. We figured that would be the beginning of a very unfortunate 48 hours. Other than choosing a genre out of a hat, we were also given a line, if you never try, you'll never know, a character with an occupation, Joe Davidson, a realtor, and a prop, a hair dryer that had to be in our film. This is the writing process. We started with a lot of brainstorming. Maybe a little too much, but hey, it's expected for us to be a little bit like mice running around with our heads dropped off, right? Regardless, we were having tons of fun. It definitely took us a while to have a complete direction with our film, but we were lucky enough to have a lot of creative minds working on it together. Once we had the whole idea paved out, we started writing, and right we did. We finished the script in a few short hours, which was shocking to me, and then all we had to do was make the call sheet, which was something I had never even seen before. Even at this late hour, we were still laughing, despite our heads feeling absolutely dead. This is Will. He was the guy. Let me tell you, he helped out in every way possible, from being a production assistant to filming to helping with the audio and editing, and he kept himself laughing the whole time. In just a second, you will see David, our director, and Lily, one of the amazing writers and actors, discussing in delirium the excitement we had upon finishing the script. Lily here came up with the thematic underpinnings of the story. Yep. You did a good job, Lily. Yes. Yeah. So glad you're on the team. Yeah, you did a great job. Lily actually knew the most about Westerns out of all of us. Yes. Thank you, Papa. Yes. Yeah. Her grandpa yes. helped her out. My grandpa's the one who saved us here. Yeah, thank God. Yes. I provided I provided the initial concept of uh, the story. Of the Asian cowboy come being trained. Yes. To be a man's man. <laughs> but my teammates, we all were together. together. And we were right back to work. Now, I do want to mention that the next day was full of filming, and since I was just coming out of a sickness, I was not there. But alas, Sunday morning came, there was more filming to be done, and copious amounts of editing before the day was out. I was back, and strategically avoiding a heat stroke. Anyway, here's the team Sunday morning, all tired and excited, off of zero to eight hours of sleep. Some people I haven't mentioned yet, Jacob in the blue headphones was our editor, a wonderful worker and hilarious guy. In the Star Wars shirt was Michelle, our assistant director, production assistant, and just best ever. And a quick word from me. I am being sent on a mission to go find um, a clear shot glass and something that will look like poison. So I'm going to Target. And the car's not moving. Those were the props that we really needed for our film, and after much deliberation, I did indeed find a shot glass and a flask. Here was something I thought was super interesting. Since we had no budget and no time, we had to stage the scenes approximately 20 seconds before filming them. So you can see that happening with our director, producer, production assistants, director of photography, some of the actors, some other people I have yet to mention in the blue bow feather. Wow is Nicole. She was so sweet and such a great actor. She helped with writing and thought of some great things. There was also Spencer in the blue shirt. I believe his official title was Gaffer. He did sound stuff, but again, another really fantastic person who was super easy to work with, and he just had an extremely calm presence, which under a lot of stress is super important. You can see my little brother Davin in the plaid shirt, and Lily, who is in the blue dress. She helped with the writing doing their acting thing. You can see MJ in the brown skirt, such a great actor too. You can see our director who also starred in our film, Jody in the orange bonnet doing her thing. It was just so cool to watch everything go down and everything come to life since I am not someone who would be part of production. I just like to write. <laughs> this was it. We were tired and proud and after helping in any way we could, we let the editing gurus do their magic in about an hour. It was a rush out of the door and they got there just minutes before the deadline with one thumb drive and a feeling of pride. And that all brings us to here. It's the next day, um, it's over, it's been turned in, hopefully our um, video will play and will work, but it was 
a hectic journey as you can hopefully kind of see um it was really fun or really interesting really just not anything I was expecting it to be um and I learned so much and I met so many cool different people um so that's awesome and it was really I don't even know what to say I'm really glad that I did it and I'm glad that I got experience and I would say that I would do it again I would also say that I would like to do it in more than 48 hours um because it's just so hard to one make anything remotely perfect and to just even finish it like the fact that we even finished it the fact that we even got it on the thumb drive the fact that they even got it to back to Burbank to hand in is insane and I don't know I really just commend everyone that was on the team and everyone else in the competition who did it and completed it for doing all of it because that's just insane to do in 48 hours to have to write a whole script to have to film everything all the post-production is just really really insane so yeah I think um this isn't gonna quite be the end I'm gonna include I think some shots from all our um when we go and like get to see our film I'll maybe include some shots from there but I'm just gonna be it for the talking so thank you for watching and I hope that it was interesting and that maybe you're intrigued in doing something like this too. Ever since the day that you went away.